Hello guys, in today's video I will show you how you can get an active developer badge easily on Discord. So first of all, of course, have your account open on your uh, browser already and have a server because of course for the bots to work we need a server that we can put the bot on. After putting the bot, we will go to a website. The website we will go to is the Discord Developer Portal, which is like right here. Just like click or search Discord Developer Portal and go to this website. When you go to this website, you will see that there are applications, themes, embed debugger and documentation. We need to go into applications. And of course, after coming to the applications, we will click on new application. We will name it test1, why not? And of course, after agreeing to Discord terms of service, we will do create. And now our bot is created. From here, we will go into bot. We will see the bot icon and everything, and we will do reset token because we need a new bot key. Then we will copy this key. And after copying this key, we need to go into another website called BotGhost. And now I will go into that website for you right here. Now we're in the BotGhost. We will do create a bot. And now I will, we will inject our bot token to say create bot. Now our bot's here, we can go back or just do next, next, next and get started. Now, after, of course, going to this page, we will scroll down and do C, Active Developer Badge. We will click on this. After seeing that Active Developer Badge here is, of course, enabled, we need to go back into our server. This is the random server I just opened. And we will click here. Go into Server Settings. Enable Community. And of course, we need to en enable our community. We don't need to open these. Or yeah, of course, we need to do this much. Of course, create one for everyone. And I agree and I understand. We'll finish setup and make our server a community server. This part is important. And after going through the whole process, we will go back to Discord Developer Portal. After going through our developer portal and clicking the O out through, we will go through default authorization link and give it bot, applications and commands, and administrator, and of course, save changes. After doing what we did in general, we will go to URL generator, do bot, applications and commands, administrator, and then copy the link right here. This copy process is important, so don't forget to do this. Then we just take our link, copy it to here, like this. It will, of course, take it to our own server, which is like my server. Let's say continue, authorize. Of course, verify that we are human, which I am. Finally, and now we can go back to our server. Of course, after putting our bot down and going back to our server, we will do slash active dev badge. Of course, we see it right here. And then we will run it. It will say that you may have to wait up to 24 hours. So we will just go and check. Right now, it says we're not eligible for it because like, like it says, we may have to wait up to 24 hours. So when it is done, we will hopefully get our developer badge. So for now, that was basically it, guys. I hope this video helped you a lot and I hope you get the developer badges you wanted. And for any other questions, you can always ask them down in the comments. But for now, I will have to say goodbye. Take care, guys. I hope to see you in the next videos and goodbye.